Hey guys, this is Amanda, Mood Disorder 9, and in this video it's just basically going to be an update of what's gone on since I made my last video. Um, I've started school and I had a bit of trouble with my financial aid. Um, I was, I'm only taking seven credits but my financial aid was set up for full time which is 12 credits so when school started I didn't have any money and I didn't realize that that was the problem so I went down to financial aid and they fixed it um, and I did get a refund check but it was only $245 which really isn't enough to help me through the semester so I took out another loan and that should be here and they said a few weeks so um, when that comes in, I'll be able to pay some bills and, and, you know, get the rest of my books, hopefully. Um, oh, and that was another thing, uh, getting my books. I didn't, I didn't have the money at the time to buy, I'm taking a biology course with a lab and a criminology course, domestic violence, and the domestic violence course I don't have any of the books yet because they actually sold out at the bookstore. So I went, I think, yeah, yesterday because I ordered, because when I did get that check-in, I ordered all of my books, but those ones obviously aren't in, but my biology books came in, so at least I have one set of books. Um, so she said that she could order the other set for me um, and take about a week which is good because the teacher said we need our books by Friday. If I have them by like Monday or Tuesday at the latest, then I'm, I'm okay because we have quizzes from the book or something, a lot of questions. So we need to have our books. And the other book for that course is a paperback book. And unfortunately, <laughs> me and my scatterbrain, I lost the syllabus. So I don't have her email. Um, so I can tell her about the book situation. So I have that class on Friday morning. So I will just I'll just tell her what's going on, and you know I'm sure she'll be all right with it, considering there's not much that can be done about it right now except wait. Um, you know I I think this this se uh, semester is going to go really well for me. I have two people in my biology course that. Are willing to do study groups and that's I think that's really important when you take a, a course like biology because I myself am not a science person <laughs> um, I'm terrible like if you have to look in um, microscopes I don't know what we're looking at I don't know so <laughs> um, I'm glad that there's somebody two other people that can help and and the professors are really nice you know they don't they don't ha like they don't intimidate me or m not intimidate but make me feel like I can't go to them some professors are like that um, so I think it's gonna go really well this year um, which is good because I like having confidence when I take my courses and I feel that I have that confidence now um, so we'll see how that goes you know um, my back. <laughs> my back is the same. I'm still in a lot of pain. I'm still on medication for it. I have trouble getting around the school because I walk slow and I limp. And the other day I was at school and you know you would think people would be a little bit considerate but no. I was the 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 um, building I was going into, there's a set of doors here, and there's and there's another set over here. This one only has one door. This one has double doors, so most people use this one. I went to go up this one. Now the stairs were, I don't know, a foot in front of me, and I was walking towards it, and I just get so I'm almost to the stairs, and some guy comes barreling by me and almost knocked me down because he was in a hurry to get to the computer lab. You know, he, he could have gone around me or waited one second for me to get take my step. But no, instead he was rude and just didn't care. You know, and it's unfortunate because there's a lot of people like that out there. They just don't care unless it's about them. 
Well, sorry, people out there. The world doesn't center around you. This, this universe doesn't center around you. Okay? It doesn't work that way. So get your thumbs out of your butt and start being mature and actually have some compassion for people and actually let people who have problems be able to walk up the damn stairs. Okay? So, sorry, I just went on a rant there. <laughs> um, you know, but I'm able to get around. They do have elevators and things like that so I can use them. So, you know, that's what I've been doing. I've been using the elevators as much as I can. I And I made a video a while back. Um, it was a response video to Bad Putty Tat's video about disclosing your information to the Disability Center when it comes to mental illness. Well, I did it. Um, I said I was going to, when this semester started, I was going to do it, and I did. I went to the disabilities office, you know, I told them about my back and everything, and, you know, they are more than willing to help out with what, with, bleh, blah, 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 with whatever is going on with me, and I also have a problem when I take tests, I need extra time. I'm really not good at time tests, like, if you have, like, 20 minutes to complete a section, I... I can't do that. I never complete it because I get so nervous and I don't know. It's just hard. So if I'm able to be in a separate space with like an hour and a half to two hours to finish a test, I'm fine. Like that works for me and they're willing to accommodate me. So, you know, I think that's real. I think that's going to be helpful for me when it comes test time because I, you know, when you're anxious, that just makes it even worse. At least for me, it does. Uh, let's see. What else is going on? Oh, um, let's see. My bipolar issues, um, well, I saw my counselor on Monday. And actually, we're going to make it a standing time that I go in on Mondays at noon. Um, because of just my schedule, I can only go there at 10, 11, or 12 on Mondays or Wednesdays. And she already has, uh, the 10 o'clock slot and the 11 o'clock slot filled up. Um, it's like a long standing thing. So she's going to put me in at 12, which works for me because, um, I'm a morning person. <laughs> I don't like to go to counseling appointments at the end of the day. I, I don't like to go to any appointments at the end of the day unless I absolutely have to. And then I still don't like it, but I'll do it. Uh, let's see. I talked to her about... Um, I had a, I had an issue when I was, you know, with my whole manic episode and stuff. When I got back, I had called my psychiatrist. And I figured he'd want to see me because of all the stuff that was going on, you know. But he didn't because of the rules. And then when I went to the hospital, they didn't touch my meds either. God knows why. And I never got to see the attending doctor that was assigned to my case. Never got to see him. I saw a different doctor. And then, you know, it just... And then the way that, that like, being in the hospital, just the way that some of the nurses acted. Um, they were very rude. Um, I don't know if I said this in my, in my other video, whatever it was, um, with the manic rage and stuff. Um, when I was in the hospital, my mother brought my son to see me. Now he's, I'm just, I'm just going to tell you this. He is autistic. You know, he has ADHD and a mood disorder. And when it was time to leave, he had a problem with leaving me behind. He did not understand why I couldn't go with him or why he couldn't stay longer. He didn't understand that. So we, so we started to go into one of his episodes. And my mother was trying to calm him down because with my son, if you can talk to him and get his level of, of anxiousness from here down to here at least, it's more manageable. So I, I was, you know, I wasn't in a pretty good state and my mother's trying to get him to come out and the nurse, 
comes over and says very rudely, you need to get him out of here because he's disturbing the patients. Um, for one, he wasn't disturbing the patients. They were actually concerned about him because we all talked about it after and they were concerned and they were just there to make sure that he didn't get hurt. You know, and he, you know when he gets into those situations, you know, if somebody yells, it makes him escalate. So he started to escalate and he started, you know, he was, he was just like, no, I'm not leaving. No, I'm not leaving. And the nurse basically went and, because my mother said, you need, if you give him a couple minutes to calm down, I can get him out of here. And she was too concerned with the rules. She didn't care that he had autism. She could have cared less. Um, so basically my son was taken out by a guard and a nurse and was brought downstairs and put in a five point restraint. And then they started talking about sending him to the hospital, you know, a different hospital where you stay, you know, but my mother was able to calm him down and that didn't happen. But just that kind of, just that kind of stress, it made me very angry that she did that. So I had a pretty bad attitude while I was in there to, towards her because I didn't like what she did to my son, so I treated her like crap because I could. Um, and I totally forgot my point, but I guess I'm, I guess I'm just sort of ranting, you know, getting stuff off my chest. But anyway, oh yeah, I remember my point. I, um, I felt like I was being discriminated or singled out. Or something I don't know if that's really the case it's just how I felt and I told my psych my my counselor this but when I was telling her this I was you know I don't really swear I really don't I hate swearing I hate when people swear um, but I was swearing because I was that angry like I felt that passionate about it you know just the whole situation you know whether it's it's based in reality or not I'm not really sure um, but that's how I felt. And I was able to get that off my chest. And I was able to just say what I had to say without somebody telling me, no, you're wrong, or, or please be quiet, or whatever the situation was. You know, I, I was able to get my feelings out. And that's why I like my counselor, because I can go in and talk about how I'm feeling what I've done. And she won't, she doesn't ever look at me in a way that is judgmental and she never says anything that's judgmental and that's a good therapist right there they don't judge you and even if they have judgments they keep them to themselves okay that's a good therapist you know I'm worried that because my meds aren't really being looked at I'm on six different meds for bipolar and depression and I feel like I might be on too many medications but then again I wonder I think well the reason I'm on so many medications is because I was taking this and it didn't work well it works but it you know the doctor wanted me to have something to counter it you know and I think that's how I ended up on so many meds so once I'm able to see my my psychiatrist um, I really want to talk to him about my meds because I, I don't want to be on so many because I hate taking medication, um, in general. And I have, I mean, I take so many throughout the day and it's just, uh, it's nerve wracking for me in terms of my moods. Um, I think like right at this very moment, I think I'm. I'm maybe sliding into a hypomania because when I was at my counseling appointment, like I told her, you know, for the past week, I've sort of felt this, like, um, what do you call it? Like a surge of energy just like coming through me. It's not negative or anything, but I just feel like I'm on the go. Like, let's go, let's go, let's go kind of thing. Um, you know, and I feel happy 
and you know I just feel like I just feel like I'm, I'm, I'm in a really happy place and I'm I'm not sure if I can tell the I don't know if I can tell the difference with myself if I'm hypomanic or just happy <laughs> I don't really know the difference I don't um, but I think that that could be a possibility so she said just chart it chart your what you're feeling and everything that way when I come back to counseling and I get back to the doctor I can show them my moods and where I was and you know and everything and I'm taking my medication like I should like I'm not making that mistake again I am I take it every morning and every night you know and also I take my pain meds um so yeah I see this video is a little long I guess I just needed to to vent some of my my feelings you know um so I talked about school and I talked about my back um I feel like my I just want to say a little more about my back I feel like things might be getting worse um yesterday when I was at school and it's because it's it's hurricane season like I can actually feel the hurricanes in the ocean um the, the pressure I can feel that and yesterday was one of those days where I was feeling intense pain and I was take I had taken medicine and I made it through my first two classes and I got to my third class and I was you know when he came in I was just in so much pain I, I said you know professor I'm in a lot of pain today so if I leave early you know is that okay um, and he said that was totally fine and that he'd get me notes um, for whatever I missed, um, which was really nice of him, and I did end up leaving, because I was just in so much pain, um, you know, and I got home, and I could barely walk, you know, I just want to let you guys know out there, please don't take walking, sitting, standing, rolling over on, on, on your bed, going to the bathroom, walking, cooking, like all those things that require your leg and your back muscles. Don't take that for granted because when you don't have that ability or you have extreme pain like I do, chronic pain, I'm chronic pain, you know, it's, it, your life changes a little bit and, you know, you just, just please don't take the little things for granted because they could be gone like that and your life can change. So I went home. Like I said, I could barely walk and I just went into my bedroom and I got the heating pad and I took some more drugs. Um, because what's happening is I have, the doctor prescribed me hydrocodone, which is Vicodin. And I'm allowed to take up to four pills a day. I've been taking a pill a day, but I spread it out throughout the day. And I think my body's telling me that I'm in enough pain that I can probably take more. But I don't want to take more, you know? It's like that whole tug of war thing, you know? You want to you want to feel better, but you don't want to have to take the drugs to do it. But I don't want to be um some I don't want to put myself in the position where I don't let myself feel better so I can do well in school and everything um, you know and then just have that much more pain because I didn't take anything because I didn't want to do it so I'm sort of struggling with that right now um, I'm trying to make it work but we'll see what happens um, I think that's all that I want to talk about, you know, just an update and slash rant, you know, just get my feelings out. So I hope everybody out there is doing well and enjoying the, the last part of the summer before it's officially um, autumn. 
but I have to say autumn is my favorite season because I love the colors of the leaves and I love the smells and Halloween is my favorite holiday thumbs and whatever it's my favorite 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 my son wants to be a cat I'm probably going to go as a witch and then I don't know what my mother's going to go as but I don't know I just think it's fun to dress up and and just you know do things and I'm going to take him for his first haunted hayride this year so that will be awesome <laughs> I'm sure he's going to love it he might get a little scared but I'll just tell him you know just do it back to him you know they're just people in a costume so yeah <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, I think this is what I'm talking about, like, I'm suddenly, like, really happy, all of a sudden, I'm, like, all giggly, and just, like, I don't know, I just, I just feel like, like, everything is gonna happen for me, but I'm glad I'm in a positive place, because I'm not in that depression that I was in, I'm coming out of it, so, that's good, alright, so I'm gonna let you guys go, because this video is long enough. Alright, take care everybody, and I will see you next time.